Hi, uh, this is Dakota Roche. We're here in beautiful Barcelona, Spain, and I'm gonna teach you how to do a bunny hop 360. First off, you're gonna wanna know which way you're more comfortable spinning, to the left or to the right. This will make everything a whole lot easier from the get-go. If you're spinning the wrong way, then it's gonna make the trick five times harder to learn because you'll be doing it opposite. Most of the time, when you're left foot forward, you're gonna be spinning to the right. That's how I am. And then, if it's vice versa, if you're right foot forward, you're gonna be spinning to the left. That's usually the, the dominant spin. First off, uh, the best place to learn a 360 would probably be like either an empty parking lot or um, just anywhere kind of secluded. But we're here in Barcelona and there's a lot of people around so we're going to teach you anyways. So you're going to want to be able to do 180s before you do 360s. You know, have them dialed, have them to the point where you rotate the full 180 every time. You feel comfortable with them and then you're going to move on to 360s. It's 180 degrees more so it's two 180s. What you're going to have to do is turn your head harder and then uh, what you would to do a 180, drop your shoulder, keep your head rotating. Getting 270 is normally pretty easy. The last 90 is always gonna be hard, but up to the 270, what you're gonna wanna do is, before you hit 180, you're gonna wanna be front end high. Once you hit 180, you're usually gonna be leveling out all the way until basically the end. Yeah, you're peaked out at 180, so your bike's gonna level and then it's gonna stay level for the rest of the rotation. So that's the hardest part to get because the last 90, a common mistake, you're gonna drop your back end between 270 and 360. And the whole point to doing like a smooth 360 is keeping your bike level, making sure you land two tires at the same time, complete 360, because if you don't, you're more than likely gonna do 270, land back tire, pivot the rest of the way most common mistake I had when I was learning them is I would land pretty back end heavy and um, pivot the last 90 and uh, that doesn't count it's a 360 tire tap so what you're gonna want to do is keep your bike level all the way around if anything you know maybe drop your front end just a tad bit usually when you 360 into a wedge or something that that's the best bet is drop your front end so um, I like to drop it on flat ground not too much not to the point where I'm flipping over but yeah, just keep going at it, keep trying, and uh, have fun out there.